It is a Thursday night in Chestnut Hill and the ninth ranked team in the country coming to take on Boston College. Neil Ivey missing two players today. Joanna Burnaby back to me missing one of their important players too. And no matter how big your roster goes, certainly impactful losses and something that these coaches are going to have to deal with today. Third year for Neil Ivey as the head coach. But one of the greatest players in Notre Dame history and a great assistant coach under her mentor, Muffet McGraw. There's Joanna Burnaby McNamee. Now in her fifth season on the bench here at the Heights. The way we go. Thursday night ACC action and so glad that you could make us part of your evening. For Boston College, this has been the starting five they've gone with since the injury to Wagner. And it includes the freshman Tiana Todd back in that starting five. Tyena Mayer is going to lob it up for Gecting. And the whistle blows there. She was out of bounds or traveled one or the other. Olivia Miles. Unable to hit on her first shot. Take a look at that lineup for Notre Dame. Miles and Citron, one of the best backcourts in the conference. Boston College unable to connect on its second possession. Still no points. That's a blocking foul called against Mayer. Bransford, who has the size advantage there. Her best scoring game of her career thus far was in that first game against Boston College. 17 points. Gang -tang. And now Daly from the top. Still no points for BC. In a game like this, especially when the first game went the way it did for Boston College, you have to feel like you can't chase the game. So these opening moments are important, and some of the looks have been decent so far, just have not gone down yet. Shot clock at 10, here's Miles, one of the great players in the country, and she got the contact. Inside, attack the paint each and every possible time they can, and if you're Boston College defensively, it's such a tough matchup defensively because Notre Dame has the size and keep the paint open. Four free throws have Notre Dame in front by four. There it was. Getting First two on the board for Boston College as Maria Getting scores inside. Well, then keeping with it, how about the play by Miles? Just immediately get inside, get right to the painted area. And they are two of the best assisters that you'll find. Mayer was really bottled up in that first game. She'll try the three. That loss that BC had in South Bend there did not have a single assist. And Miles could not finish. But there's the Oregon transfer, Kylie Watson. And an early timeout called by BC. It's all about getting to the paint. It's all about that driving ability. And so far, the Irish have done it well. No substitutes for Boston College coming out of that timeout. Starting five on the court. Shot clock. Now hits five. This is Lacey. Pulls the trigger for two. BC is now one out of six. Seven assists per game. The top two in the ACC. Now you're certainly seeing why early in this game. Does a great job to find the open player. You left Sonia Citron, a 45% three-point shooter, without anybody guarding her in the corner. And this is what it takes. Just a couple of off-sequence possessions. All of a sudden, Notre Dame takes advantage. Can't get stuck deep in the shot clock against just a really good defensive Notre Dame team. On New Year's Day, Andrea Daly was the offense for BC. She had 17 points in that game. Only one out of two. We were talking about how Notre Dame built such a big lead in the first half when they played Boston College a month ago. They're trying to do it again. This is Maddie Westbeld. And again, that's just all about size and positioning. That's Westbeld at 6-3, having a size advantage against JoJo Lacey, and the help D could not get there in time. Van Timmeren on the offensive glass against Notre Dame. In fact, they've won the last three times these two teams have played in this building. Lacey fouled from behind the last three years against the Fighting Irish in what they call the Holy War. They were three of the more memorable games that Coach Mack has had that has the name recognition of Notre Dame. It means something. Miles with the freshman Ava McGee. Three seconds, though, underneath. Boston College, one out of eight from the field. Lacey off the bounce. And Boston College gets JoJo Lacey from the mid-range. 
And there's a travel on the other end. This time, Kylie Watson. Daly, strong attack from the right side. Andrea Daly brings Boston College back within five. They've scored five in a row. Now you feel like Daly has a chance to be an equalizer if she can get to the basket. This zone defense has given a bit of an issue here to Notre Dame. Watson, that's how you attack it. Kylie Watson, her second hoop. Yeah, you got to get inside. How about the spin cycle and a rejection inside. Again, it was Watson erasing. And Miles breaking the other way. Again, we talked about Notre Dame's ability to block shots. Van Timmeren. For Manja, a lot of the start on New Year's Day, BC had. Bransford through the contact finishes KK Bransford lead is 11 and inside again Van Timmer and that time the foul is whistled better job defensively kind of limiting some of those chances after the Irish started off early and creating turnovers but I mean if you're shooting only three of 16 it's just going to be a tough ask and there's the fourth pocket nice play off the inbounds baseline underneath to Maria Gectang so field goal make number four in the quarter. Shot clock turned off now for Notre Dame. And the offense, as it always does, running through Miles. Prosper, unable to hit. Still three seconds. The trailer is Miles off one foot. That would have counted. Because not only do they play good defense, but they don't give you second chance opportunities. So it's a lot of one and done. That's why Boston College, with the field goal percentage they have in the first, it's a tough ask because Notre Dame's just not going to give you those extra chances. Tiana Todd had it especially tough. She was 0 for 5 shooting in the first quarter. She might have to put up another one here. Shot clock under 5. Instead, it's Daly through the paint. Nice attack, Andrea Daly. West Belt on the left baseline. Citron off the dribble. Gang rebound there by Boston College. Daly's the one who comes away with it. Their name has cooled off a bit the last few minutes. Todd tries it again. And that was a big foul, Eric, because just had Westbelt get her second foul. She has to go to the bench. You have Westbelt and Lauren Ebo available as they normally do. That is a formidable front line. Back-to-back -back turnovers. Miles is going to try her luck. Long-range miss. Well, that's the next step, right? Shoot over top of the zone if you can't get inside. Lacey. No whistle, but she's got it back. And now she'll try the three. Two-point shot. Bigger part. Eight straight Boston College point. Miles with the shot clock down to three. That's a two. And another miss. One and done for Notre Dame again. Chance to extend an 8 nothing run, Boston College. Gakteng going to work. And Van Timmeren able to re recollect that on the baseline with the shot clock now at 10. Tough pass there by Lacey. Daly saved it. Andrea Daly got the foul. Uh, Daly saw that lane, took advantage of it. Ten points in a row for BC. That time it's Lacey getting her hands on the pass for a turnover. Notre Dame still has not scored here in the corner. Chance for Boston College's first lead, Lacey. And Miles collects the rebound. How about that outlet pass? Prosper. And Notre Dame finally is back on the board. Olivia Miles with her second helper of this game. Nice pass, Gekdang from Todd. It's Hubert Davis and John Shire. This guy who used to play high-level college basketball. Grant Williams played at Tennessee. How great is that? Taking selfies with everybody, understanding his role. It's great to see. Quick attack. Now the Eagles have made more shots, so that certainly affects the transition game, but not allowing Boston College to get set up in their zone because so far they've been able to flummox the Irish offense a bit. Where I will see. Really crafty move. Well, that's two fouls on Kassan Prosper. It's a game Notre Dame led by as many as 11 points late in the first quarter. 
Second quarter score is 12 to 4 Boston College. They have flipped the script. Final four minutes of the opening half. And staying in the zone, BC. Bransford, well too strong, but there is Citron. And four in a row out of the timeout scored by Sonia Citron, the terrific sophomore. And those were the first four points in the paint for Notre Dame in this second quarter. Everything else had been forced shots over top of the zone. Daly thought about three. Lacey does try the three. Good strong box out by KK Bransford. Olivia Miles galloping down the court. And Citron is wide open. Seven points in about a minute for Citron. Todd has the big Marshall on her. And a turnover, Boston College. Here comes Bransford leading the break. Miles all the way to the basket. Scoop to the hoop. Olivia Miles off the window. Six points for Miles. How about that finish on the move? Yeah, that's a really good job getting inside. And Miles so good at that. Big answer, BC. It comes from Andrea Daly. That is a massive shot from the outside. Offense is starting to pick it up here. In the final two minutes of the opening half. Miles way off right into the arms of Bransford like a pass she won't get an assist Deanna Todd let's fly the three off the tip there's Ali Van Timmeren back up nothing but a third chance for BC on the possession there was nearly turned over again Daly's been the one keeping BC within striking distance can Todd hit one yes she can first make in seven attempts Interesting here, Notre Dame going back with Westfeld into the game with two fouls. The LIV feeling like she needs that size on the floor right now for this final minute. Gek Tang got a piece of Bransford shot. Boston College has a two for one here if it wants. Todd hit last time down the court. It's time to pass kicks. We'll see here if the Eagles want to rush something to keep that two for one or just try to find the best look here in a four point game. Zone defense by the Irish. Todd faked the three. The C's parted and Tiana Todd scores again. Such a good read. She saw the zone kind of moving over, shifting to the left. That right side was wide open for Todd to take it to the basket. 10 seconds until our halftime report. Shot clock turned off. It's Olivia Miles. Ball in her hand. Across the court, it's Bransford. One more. Miles gets it off. It'll count. And Notre Dame's lead is only two as we go to halftime. As large as 11 was the first quarter advantage. But Boston College hanging in there. Final 20 minutes coming up here. County Forum on a Thursday night. Miles pass too hot to handle. Boston College could tie the score with a two-point make. And the Fighting Irish open up in a zone. Todd for the lead. And there's a foul against JoJo Lacey over the back. So each team scoreless on the opening possession here of the third quarter. Bransford. And Notre Dame scores first. KK Bransford. Mayer has only taken one shot tonight. And try to throw a pass with the shot clock expiring. 30-second violation there. Obviously, it was the foul trouble early, but Notre Dame does a nice job taking away what you want to do first on the offensive end. Bransford probing the middle. No foul, got it back. And Bransford has the first four points of the half. Uh, it's a really good offensive rebound. K.K. Bransford out of Cincinnati. Top 30 nationally ranked recruit. Two minutes into the third quarter, Boston College yet to score. Gakdang faces up outside the foul line. And too strong. Here comes Miles galloping down the courts. Olivia Miles and a foul. Olivia Miles with six in the first half. Miles only two of eight from the field tonight. She's stuffing the stat sheet. 
Now eight points, five assists, and four rebounds. Great opening couple of minutes for Coach Neal Ivey's team. And there's JoJo Lacey hitting the bottom of the rim. Miles had her pocket pick that time. Mayer and Lacey ahead of the pack. There's Tyena Mayer making her presence felt really for the first time tonight. Bransford faces up. Didn't have her dribble. Westbelt gives her some help. And a three-second violation. Now she'll try the three. And Mayer connecting from long range. Well, how often on those plays do we talk about you have to watch the inbounder? Bransford took a step. Boston College with five in a row. Mayer into the corner. Boston College wanted a foul there. The possession continues. Ball faking a pass. Van Timmeren at the rim. That was a great job over-rotating the Notre Dame defense that somebody was open on each of those successive passes by BC. Seven in a row for the Eagles. Tough chance there for Kassan Prosper. Boston College has not led tonight. Mayer has been in the middle of everything in this seven-point run. Now that's three seconds on Gekdang. This is that last possession that we're talking about. And watch once Mayer makes her move, how the white jerseys keep shifting around. Everybody forcing out. So now two coming out on Lacey, two coming out here. It's going to create the opening as the continued passing set up that chance. Miles out of the corner. That's a two. Olivia Miles from long range. Mayer spinning left. Mayer! Boy, she's found her game in the third quarter, hasn't she? Yes. We've got a one-point contest. Certainly has, and it started on the defensive end for BC off a great steal. 9-2 stretch. That's a blocking foul. Van Timmeren called on that. Uh, and that kind of started it. We've talked about, you know, three wins in a row for BC against this Notre Dame. They've won four of seven in this series. And Kassam Prosper, the freshman, Splitting that trip at the foul line. It's a two-point game. You can see Notre Dame ratcheting up the pressure here and creating a turnover. And it leads to a Miles runaway. Olivia Miles. She's now got 12. The Eagles have certainly scored more. That last basket was just points five and six off turnovers for Notre Dame in the ballgame. Lacey finding Van Timmeren. Spun over her right shoulder and finished in the paint. Notre Dame leading by two. Fighting Irish lost on Sunday at NC State. Marshall's pass is intercepted in the lane. It's JoJo Lacey. The closest BC has been was one. They can tie it up with a two-point make. Mayer does just that. Tie in a Mayer and we are level at 43. Citron takes it in. Citron could not finish. But Marshall on the offensive glass. A big offensive rebound for Notre Dame in a spot where the Irish certainly needed one. Two and a half to go in the quarter. Under the rim goes Lacey. Could not hit the reverse off the window. Miles attack mode. Olivia Miles gets the roll. Mayer for three. That one well short. And again, on the gallop, it's Olivia Miles. This time it's Westbelt going to work on the fade. Maddie Westbelt. It's going to be Mayer getting the ball screen here from Van Timmeren. Chucks up the three. Van Timmeren losing her balance. Forced Notre Dame's defender out. Does make it a little bit of a tougher three to get over the top. Obviously, this is a huge sequence. West Bell, eight in a row. You know, you'd love if you're Boston College to get to the end of the quarter here without having to use the timeout. It's going to be Daly attacking Marshall and losing the triple. It's going to be a breakaway layup for Citron. Notre Dame has scored 10 quick consecutive points. Boston College, for the moment, has lost one of its most effective players tonight. Shot clock turned off. 
Tiana Todd driving in, got the contact. That play much more difficult. Remember Boston College playing again tonight without its leading scorer and rebounder, Dontavia Wagoner, due to injury. Eight-point game. Citron gets that off. It'll count. That was short. And so Notre Dame, the ninth-ranked team of the country, throwing a big uppercut at the end of the third quarter. The Irish. Boston College controls the opening possession of the fourth. Hit an Irish foot. Possession continues, and McGee threw a pass that was stolen. Chance to get a double-digit lead back here for Notre Dame. Bransford threw that one too tall. One turnover begets another. It's just great defense. If you're just joining us, these teams played about a month ago. Notre Dame won by 37 on its home court. Another turnover. She did a really nice job of not letting Van Timmeren get by without fouling and creating what would have been an easy layup. West Belt on the move. Notre Dame sits six in a row. And three of them coming from their big woman inside the center, Maddie Westbell. Largest lead of the game's been 11. Gecting works and scores off the glass. This is the zone defense that has given Notre Dame problems at times earlier in the night. Miles finding Bransford, who traveled after the catch. Notre Dame coming off of a loss. It's their third of the season. It was a close one at NC State Sunday. BC coming off of a win against Pitt. Foul against Kylie Watson. Crossroads fourth quarter here for these teams. 20 second shot clock and an eight point Notre Dame lead. There, Gekdang caught it, finished, count it. Maria Gekdang back to back hoops on the interior. She is about as rested as she's ever been in a fourth quarter. And Gekdang hitting hers to convert the old fashioned three point play. Five in a row for BC. Three minutes into the fourth quarter. Miles and Mayer. One-handed pass to Citron. Back rim. There's Prosper on the offensive glass in a fresh 20. Miles driving dish. Bransford the catch. Bransford couldn't finish. Another chance. Citron. And then finally Citron on the fourth attempt. Gets a big bucket for Notre Dame. Lacey saved that one on the baseline. They're going to try Gecting again. She's got miles on her and could not hit. Just Josh, the second miss of the night for Gecting. Sorry, Josh. One of the things the Eagles have to be careful with out of this zone is Notre Dame. As you watch Miles make a big bucket out of the zone, Notre Dame's really doing a nice job reaching into the lanes and creating some steals. And trying to beat the Irish to the basket. Lacey hit only backboard. Notre Dame trying to extend a four-point run, and Citron is free in the corner. Largest lead of the night, Notre Dame. Timeout, Boston College. Still have 545 to try to make up what is now their largest deficit of this game. A couple of freshmen here, Brand Bransford matched up with Mayer, but it's Daly who just came back in. Lacey traveled. Step before a dribble. And, you know, we pointed out earlier the points off turnovers, how that number was lower for Notre Dame. They've up to 12 now. It's kind of increased a little bit. Get the feeling the Irish can be going for the knockout punch here. Citron lets it short. Followed her own miss and kept it alive. Miles all day. Studies releases. Olivia Miles have broken it open for visiting Notre Dame. It's a great job working the offense around until that open shot appeared, and Miles is not going to miss that. Lacey off the iron. See here, the Eagles likely to ramp up the defensive pressure. And Miles, that just gives her more room to operate. Olivia Miles finding Citron. That is assist number nine. Lacey unable to answer. Kind of easy to forget. This was a tie game with three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Yeah, it is pretty remarkable. Notre Dame is kind of pulled away. But you give them credit. I mean, it's a it's a good game effort by Boston College. But it's tough to play that level of defense against this physical a team for as long as you need to. To, to pull off this kind of win, especially 
when you're a little bit shorthanded. Boston College has missed its last six shots. There's a foul against the Eagles. Notre Dame is 15 of 23, make it 16 of 24 shooting. It's amazing how, you know, that outside shot, which was not really falling in the second quarter, all of a sudden it does. It just adds such an element to the game. It makes it so much harder to defend. Todd forced it on the baseline. The collection by Daly. She couldn't hit. Look at a third chance. By the way, that last jumper by Citron. She has nine of the 14 in this 14-0 run. Sonia Citron suddenly up to 23 on the night. That one going back to Notre Dame. There's the steal at midcourt by JoJo Lacey. And Mayer breaks the streak. But just in terms of when Notre Dame has gotten their shot, Josh, and they're shooting 67% in the second half, 16 of 24 from the floor. It's not a team that needs the three. It uses it as kind of a bonus. They've only taken three three-pointers in this second half. It's part of the reason they're shooting so well. It's a five-second violation. It's an important game for Notre Dame as they come off of a loss. They're tied for first in the conference standings with Duke. They're going to play Duke in their next game Sunday. Gekdang on the interior. 13 for Maria Gekdang. And again, the full-court pressure. Prosper looked like she got hit in the face. Whistle silent, but still Miles undeterred attacks the basket. Oh, hey, that was using her eyes to create. Really looked off the defender, looked like she was going to pass and created the lane. It's a foul against Notre Dame's West Belt. Trying to box out Maria Gekting. Obviously, makes a difference. 14th point of the night as she makes the first free throw. Eight of them. Now make it nine fourth quarter points. Two great kind of young coaches in this league, and it's going to be fun to see that matchup. And, of course, Duke will be here at Boston College next Thursday. At the Dome. Can't call it the Carrier Dome anymore. Only two home games remain for Boston College after this one. It's a tough, hard-fought game against Syracuse here at Conti Forum about a month ago. Rematch should be interesting. Todd was falling to the ground. Just didn't have her balance to make that layup in that kind of quarter for Boston College. 16-point game, though. Approaching 60 seconds to play. Jen Brown. Jenna Brown missed. Put back Marshall. Prosper, third chance. And it's Gekting finally able to secure. Todd inside the foul line gets it to spin around the cylinder. All that's in doubt, the margin of victory here. Notre Dame will get the season series sweep. And they'd snap a three-year losing streak in this building. Talked about it. Boston College, three exhilarating wins. 2020, 21, and 22 over the Fighting Irish here. Mayer gets to add a steal onto her docket. Final 10. Gekdang. Look, you're playing the ninth-ranked team in the country, and you were tied late in the third quarter. Yeah, and I think, you know, maybe it's not the positives for tonight. It's the positives for the film session tomorrow. The defensive effort gets skewed because there's just a lot of shots made here for Notre Dame. But stuff to take out for BC and for Notre Dame, good grinded-out effort. Notre Dame flexes its muscle late. A couple of huge second-half runs for the ninth-ranked Fighting Irish. Coming away from Chestnut Hill with a 13-point win. And now 9-2 in the conference for Neil Ivey. Going into a huge game at home against Duke on Sunday afternoon. Olivia Miles led the way.